Hi everyone, um, welcome to this lecture. Um, so in this lecture, uh, we'll talk about um, how we can um, classify uh, a clustering or unsupervised uh, classification uh, using a Landsat data. Let's get started. So the first thing is I'll, um, I've already written this script. I uh, just uh, will be using uh, this uh, to save time. Um, so we would need to import a region of interest. Um, so we have uh, defined a rectangle here. These are the coordinates of the rectangle. And I'll map that, um, that rectangle uh, and adjust the center. So let's execute this code. Um, so this will be our study region. Uh, we can zoom out. Uh, we can see uh, this is um, some part uh, in southern Africa. And um, so it's, it's an area in, in northern Swaziland. It's a small country. Uh, so we'll be using this uh, region of interest or this rectangle for our, anal our, our analysis to run the uh, unsupervised classification algorithm to, uh, and then specifically a clustering algorithm. So the first step is to um, actually load a Landsat data. Um, so uh, this will um, import the Landsat data. Um, and um, so what we are doing here is uh, providing the image collection ID uh, and also the timestamp uh, for that analysis. It's 20, the start date and the end date here and uh, obviously the region of interest that we, we have already defined here and um, sorting cloud. So this will sort cloud cover and then selecting first what would give, um, you know, best cloud free imagery uh, in that time period. And then um, we can also define some uh, visualization parameter here and select the different bands that we'll be using in the visualization. Um, here we'll import this image uh, that we've created, the cloud-free imagery, the Landsat image. Uh, let's actually run that um, to see uh, what we have. So this is the image uh, uh, and the different bands within this image that we'll be using for this unsupervised classification. Um, and so you can see here the Landsat image um, and um, you can zoom in a, a little bit. Um, you can see some, um, you know, um, the water body and just um, agriculture and, and uh, other land cover classes here. So what we're doing here is we, we, we don't provide a training data for this model. What we do is just um, uh, based on a clustering um, classification algorithm, it will, it will uh, categorize, um, you know, pixels into homogeneous groups. So it will classify them into homogeneous groups and we don't know what's what, but, uh, you know, so mostly cluster um, unsupervised classification is done before you do a supervised classification to kind of get some sort of uh, idea what, what the different class, um, classes are in, 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 um, in an image. So um, we, uh, the next step is to um, actually uh, randomly generate, you know, training data points here. So in this case, we'll, we'll use 5,000 data points uh, using, so we'll using, uh, we'll be using the, the Landsat image we imported and also the, the rectangle that we have established here. And then we can execute that. That will generate, um, you know, that will generate um, Landsat band values uh, for, for, for randomly generated, you know, data points here. And so the next step is actually to, um, you know, uh, create the, the uh, or to instantiate the cluster. Uh, the cluster is what we'll be using in the clustering classification. So to create the cluster, we'll, we'll create a variable cluster. And here is the Earth Engine built-in um, built uh, function that would, it's Weka Kamin's algorithm. Uh, we provide 15 as, as this the, the, for this the, the the cluster parameter, and the next thing we do is just actually train the data using this model. Uh, we train the data that we have uh, already um, extracted here. We have 5,000 data points over here, so we'll input that into the cluster model, 
and so that will actually um, um, create um, a model. So this is our, our unsupervised model or cl uh, clustering model. The next thing is we apply this model to the image, the Landsat image, okay? And this is what we're doing here. We create a variable and just um, result, and then we import the Landsat image and then apply the cluster model. So this will create actually a classification. By now we have uh, already created a classification. Actually, we can print this, this uh, unsupervised classification result to see what we have here. So we can see we printed the image and the image uh, should have some classification band. Uh, so or just cluster in this case. So that's that's um, um, you know that's that's how we know we have uh, you know uh, applied the clustering algorithm to our Landsat image. So you can see here an ID cluster. Okay. So um, next is to actually display the data. So because this is a clustering algorithm, it will just create. Um, uh, you know, random, not necessarily random, but it will categorize the, the pixels into um, some homogeneous groups. And then, so we don't know what's what, instead of defining colors for each class, we just create, you know, random visualizer, uh, so random colors for each of the class. So we, we import the result and then clip it by our rectangle, and then just um, generate a random visualizer, which would create random uh, colors. And then we call, we give it a name unsupervised classification and execute that. And you can see here, we have already our unsupervised classification um, is uh, complete. Uh, we can, we can, you know, see the Landsat image. Um, actually, let's just drag it here. So this is our Landsat image and that, that's our clustering algorithm and, or just, the classification rather, the clustering image, the the image that's uh, processed after the clustering, uh, you know, classification. So, so you can see that you know some homogeneous, um, uh, some classes. Uh, for example, this blue indicates water. Uh, we know so some other you know areas which have water body or wetland would be ha having this similar color. And then, for example, if you look at this, you know, green. Uh, over here, it's uh, it's pretty much like a cropland over here. You can see it's a cropland. So, you know, places that have deep green here uh, should be, you know, cropland as well. Uh, and then the model is, um, the, uh, you know, a clustering algorithm, the, the only limitation is that um, you know, we don't we don't know what what's what class what, what each um, um, you know, feature is, but we know that they are based on the, you know, uh, an objective classification. Um, they are, um, you know, they are classified into homogeneous groups. So how's, how is this useful? This is useful to, you know, before you do a supervised classification, you know, it can provide you, um, you know, what, what are the, the, the features that have similar, you know, spectral signature, and this can, you know, help your, your supervised classification, or based on this, you can stratify your supervised classification, or you can design your, your methodology for your supervised classification. And that's how you run um, um, a supervised classification or a clustering algorithm uh, using the Landsat data.